YouTube, what's going on? Slightly sick bruised here once again. Just wanted to kind of bring out and show off what was my... It's probably going to be my last character for the League for uh, for 3.20 for Sanctum League. As you can see, I am at 38 of 40 challenges. I'm leaving off the uh, Complete the Simulacrum, which I tried. Uh, and I'm leaving off Cosmically Challenging Crucible because... Uh, no, absolutely not. Not going to try that. Not going to do it. I had a couple of them, but ultimately, like, doing feared with 80% and some of these other ones with 80% just sounded like not a fun time. So I'm going to dodge that. Um, but this is the last character. It was an armor stacking champion. Uh, this is a build that already exists and is already around for sure. I didn't take any kind of spin on this. This was just kind of, I wanted something really tanky that I thought might be able to do simulacrum or that I might be able to do simulacrum with. And you probably can. I'm just bad. Um, but I wanted to try it out anyway, just to see how it uh, how it operates, how it feels. And I had a couple of replica gene feathers sitting around. Uh, I had a Dorianis from my previous build, the Absolution Scion. Um, I've had a Perseverance forever, and then I had like a lot of the pieces kind of ready. I had this Venter's Gamble that was already very well rolled, and then I put some of the resistance modifiers on it just to get uh, even more of the reduced lightning res from there. I'm at minus 21, as you can see, so it was nearly perfect. Um, as far as the minus into the negative for lightning goes so it was pretty good and then i also got a headhunter this is my first time getting a headhunter uh in my 2800 hours playing the game so i kind of wanted to do a build that i felt like could like sort of take advantage of it while i'm mapping and in simulacrum that could take advantage of it pretty well i mean any any build can but you know i wanted to be sure that i survived well enough right um was this anything special no this is just some increased crit track for uh for attacks which doesn't actually mean anything but i didn't really have anything else super worthwhile um but the build itself <laughs> so the build itself we can kind of talk about it so it's basically just you're you're taking as much evasion and as much armor as you possibly can and then you're also scaling your um you're also scaling your well your armor and you're also scaling the effect of auras your non-curse auras so that way you get things like determination up you get thing like things like grace up higher you get purity of fire up higher which helps for uh for counteracting melding of the flesh um you get things like wrath up even further um so you just scale as much as you possibly can and then also the replica dream feathers add one percent increased attack damage per 450 armor and when you have a lot of armor and when you've scaled everything then you're left with something like 286,000 armor without flasks up, and 477,000 with flasks on. And this can go even higher, this can go even further beyond, this is just sort of what I have on this character right now. I've seen, I've seen people for sure hitting over 500,000, so it's just really insane, you're very tanky, even with my small life pool 3400, you're just so tanky from all the armor you have, and I have 85 fire res... Uh, scaling from Purity of Fire and from a few other things on the tree. So then that counteracts and lets with uh, melding and lets my cold res also be at 85. Uh, my chaos res is pretty bad. Uh, I think if you were to do this build, you'd want to get you'd want to snag some chaos res somewhere else, and like I did, like on your gloves here, it, it, ideally instead of uh, ideally instead of the cold and chaos there that probably is or even probably replacing the fire res right there because you could you could lose the 21 percent and just have big cold res and big chaos res and then maybe even craft more cold and chaos or fire and chaos if you have that open suffix ready and that'd be good and then you'd just be uh you'd be an even beefier beefier thicker lad and same with the uh same with the boots here you know you get some fire cold and chaos if possible skip the life regen um some of these like open slots I have, you could probably set up. And what I was thinking of setting up was a uh, was putting uh, precision over on arrogance support for life, just to kind of reserve a little bit of life, and then actually get a vitality, and stick the vitality in on the mana side because I have more than enough mana to cast to cast smite. Um, yeah. And that, so also the main skill that we're using is smite, and I know that it's absolutely massive and difficult to read this is a phantasmal smite which you want because it gives it makes the buff give you increased attack and cast speed it's very strong it's very good um and i happen to get lucky enough to hit this both with a uh prime regrading lens stayed with the prime regrading lens hit the phantasmal smite and then i went double corrupted it and hit a phantasmal vol and it hit 23 quality instead of level 21 21 is better 
because uh, the 23 quality does not provide an extra 1%. So that doesn't actually matter much, but, you know, it's still fine. Um, but yeah, that's basically the build. Oh, uh, a note as well about Perseverance. You don't actually need the Determination Has Increased Aura effect. Uh, I did a bit of a testing. So I bought this one uh, compared to my other one I have, which is somewhere. At the, the, or did I get rid of it? No, there it is. Uh, so this is a, it's a corrupted one, but it's still uh, exactly where it should be. Uh, but let's see. So I'm at 294k. Uh, armor right now up to 86 right because molten shell uh, and now I'm at 280 so you can see it really doesn't make that big of a difference it's a difference of 6,000 if you have a well rolled one so it that doesn't actually matter too terribly much I would say if anything perseverance is a super common drop just just use some blessings on it get it to 310 320 and you'll be in a better spot it wasn't super expensive to buy this either but this is the way to go uh, headhunter I'm just using again uh, just for the sake of mapping, and I tried it out in Simulacrum as well. Um, and then Perseverance is what I'm going to use for single target for bossing, because it will just give me perma onslaught. The other thing is you might be asking, why not run a Juggernaut if you're armor stacking? Juggernaut, armor, good. And while yes, while yes, a Juggernaut would actually still be very good, the thing about Champion that makes it so strong is this node right here, Inspirational. For a 30% increased effect of non-curse auras from your skills. So that means that your grace and your determination are getting huge. They're getting very thick uh, and even more so scaling from that. All of your jewels, all these small jewels here, which is really what you want. These large clusters are just kind of meant to help you with the damage department. But these small jewels are really where you get a lot of good nodes in. Because you get introspection on all of these. So all six of these are introspection, which is for a further increased aura effect. 10% increase per. And then you, the small nodes will just be whatever else you need, so they have mana reservation efficiency, but then, you know, all attributes, some chaos res, some other resistances, whatever else you need. Some evasion rating, if you can get some armor there too, that's also very good. Um, also, we're using Divergent Determination, because Divergent Determination gives you 2% of your evasion rating as extra armor. And we are, of course, converting all of our evasion rating into armor using iron reflexes. So that is how we're getting so much armor, even after just scaling evasion rating. Um, but yeah, that, I mean, that is more or less the build. Then also, oh, I guess also you want to use a brutal restraint. This spot is a very, very good spot for brutal restraint. Because it lets you hit, if you take savagery, which I have, um, then you can, that just opens up more possibilities. So what you're looking for here is uh, whatever, whatever you need, but realistically the biggest ones you want is increased evasion rating and increased effect of non curse orders from skills. Again, we're trying to scale that as much as possible. So this one hit two of the increased effect of non curse auras, has 1% increased evasion rating. And then the cold res was actually kind of nice. I actually kind of needed cold res, so that was fine. The fizz is extra cold, doesn't do anything as far as I'm aware. Um, but yeah, that's basically, um, that's basically the build. I hit level 91. Uh, I'll do a quick Cirrus here. Um, we are also taking elemental overload because we just want to deal more damage. We're not trying to worry about scale. We're scaling armor and auras. We don't want to worry about scaling crit on top of that. It's too much. Um, and also, if you want to, you can go over here and get crackling speed. It's just increased lightning damage, but the lightning damage with non-critical strikes is lucky is very nice. Lucky means that it will take whatever damage you deal. It'll roll it. It rolls it once and then it rolls it again. And whichever the higher value is, it uses that higher value for the damage. So that's what you want to do, because that because lightning damage has a very large discrepancy in the amount of damage it does. As you can see, it does 8,614 to 70,000. So the more times you can roll it, the better. The other thing is with the Dorianes, um, I'm using Awaken adding lightning damage, which just gives me plus one to level, uh, which is very nice, just good damage increase. But you can also put Awaken Elemental Focus here, and that would also be more damage. I just already had an Awaken added lightning damage, and I was not going to buy an Awakened elemental focus because it's very expensive um but otherwise we're using uh ruthless support we're using divergent inspiration divergent multi-strike for the increased attack speed inspiration is just uh reduced mana cost that doesn't actually matter that much the mana cost is already pretty low and then an awakened elemental damage with attack skills if you have just a regular one that's fine i just i actually went on my way to buy this because i was tired of having to deal with reflect maps so now i don't have to worry about reflect maps um oh for the amulet as well we're using eternal struggle you can use Use ashes if you want, and ideally as well, this one actually isn't even rolled that uh, to where it should be, because what you actually want 
is this to be the other way around. The inva increased evasion rating is very good, and so is the increased non-cursed ores, obviously. But you actually want the Searing Exarch to be the one that's in the lead. Um, because with uh, Searing Exarch being dominant on this amulet, you then have Cull Strike. You have some good culling strike action on that. So that's basically what you want to do. I just haven't rolled that. Uh, I'm too lazy to roll that. I'm not going to roll that. But you definitely should if you if you ever try this build. It is uh, it's very good. You use you can use an orb of conflict, and then if you miss, and you just spam some more and, and get what you need. Um. But yeah, I think that's uh, that's kind of it for this character. I will do just a quick serious. I actually haven't done serious on this character, so I have no idea how well this is gonna go. But uh, oh yeah, let's do some serious action. Let's have uh, let's have a bit of fun, shall we? Hi, Orion. Really I will say the one thing, as per usual, that will kill you with a build like this, as a Doriani's build, is Lightning Dot. So the Mana Siphoner, the lightning damage ring enemies that you see, like the blue ringed enemies, those will shred you. Lightning damage over time is so, so scary while you're wearing Doriani's. It just hurts a lot. Of my fellow citizens will finally stir some. Bye, Cherish. I think if you wanted to as well, you actually don't have to have Molten Shell on a on your left click. You could probably also set that up reasonably well with... Um, I'm actually very scared about the thought here. Hi, Cherish. You could probably also set that up with the uh, Gas of Damage Taken. Also, you could have Ancestral War Chiefs as well. I just have Protector because I was too lazy to set up... Uh, No, you. But you can see, the damage is obviously super good. And it was very good in Simulacrum as well. Um, the damage is super good because you're just setting their resist, their lightning res as low as you possibly can. And, uh, and they are not going to have a good time with that. But yeah, it's, um, it's super good damaging. Really, the only reason that I died in, uh, when I did the simulacrum that I did is oh, okay. is very specifically because I had a bad set of mods on Wave 20, and I got both Kosis and Omniphobia to show up, and so the mods just the mods were just not good. They ended up killing me, and then I couldn't get back in easily enough, and ended up dying I think four times, and then I made it to Wave 25 or so, 24, 25. And, uh, and then I hit some more scary mods and just ended up dying. Dying the last two times. And then the second time I tried, um, the thing that killed me was basically just being in the Act 1 map. I can't remember the name of that town right now, but just being in the Act 1 map is just so bad. That map is awful for, uh, for simulacrum purposes. Um, yeah, that, that map is just awful for, uh, for simulacrum. And uh, I died. I think I died once to something, and uh, and then I just couldn't make it back in anymore because they're just all waiting at the stairs, and it's just such a big chokehold, and they'll just destroy you. But um, the build can definitely do simulacrum. It's just a matter of uh, it's just a matter of getting some probably getting some more levels. I think I tried it at level 89. You want to get some more levels. You'd want to be a bit stronger than me. You want to be a bit smarter than me, which is uh, all very easy to do. Ishwan. Uh oh. The other thing as well about Smite is that it's like a range skill without being a range skill, but also yeah, he's like tickling here with regular attacks. I think this build could probably do um could probably do Ubers if you're set up for it. But I'm not. Hey cool. I think I even take to die right there too. Not sure. Yeah, as you can see. Absolutely destroyed Sears. I didn't even pop my potions now that I think about it. I didn't even have blasts up. So I could have had even I could have been doing even more damage, but I just uh I was too busy too busy talking and thinking. By the way, that is this character. I uh hope you enjoyed it. What do we hit? I'm small ring at minus seventeen. Sorry. It had to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Whatever you said. Um, but yeah, I hope you, uh, hope you enjoyed this build, hope you enjoyed this character, uh, and, and just kind of this quick showcase Hello. as to, uh, as to how this character is. It's a lot of, 
it's still a lot of fun to play. And you know, you look at your small life pool and you go, uh, but you're just, you're so tanky. You just have to remember like how much armor you really have, how much, how much resistance you really have from just really boosting all of your resistances. Um, oh, also I will say as a note, I'm using Vol Haste in here. From what I could see, some people on, on PoE Ninja that were doing this build actually did have a way to activate Determination, Haste, Grace, and Wrath, and Purity of Fire. Like, they still had all of the auras, basically. I didn't even try to think about how they had that set up. It's probably, you probably want some more, uh, you level up some more, maybe you use some more of the, the, like a three passive introspection cluster, maybe a couple three passives, uh, and maybe a few other ways, a few, a few other tips and tricks to, to slot that in there, but I was not about to try to figure that out and set it up. I just wanted to kind of rush in there and do it. So, uh, yeah, but that is this character, and that is, uh, that's sort of probably the last character of the league. The only thing I might do is uh, is kind of go back to some old characters that I really haven't, that I really didn't give a fair shot with, and uh, and maybe rework them and maybe rebuild them. And I think that'll actually be uh, what I do in my next video. Is just kind of show off, is just kind of show the characters that I count as my mistake characters that I just didn't actually commit anything to. You know, I got them the maps. I started with them, and then I ultimately just ended up dropping them for one reason or another, or I got another idea in my head. Um, and I just kind of want to talk about those characters because it's also important to show well it's important to show successes and I think it's cool to show successes I also think it's important to show failures and see what you learned kind of from those failures but anyway YouTube I hope you enjoyed have a great rest of your day bye now